But, Rob, let's move to the Western Conference and talk about the team we we mentioned earlier that you trashed, the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, their general manager, Nico Harrison. I, Nico, I know him, loaned him a long time. But here's what Nico, now the general manager for the Dallas Mavericks, said about Kyrie Irving. Now, Kyrie skipped his exit interview with the media, but he did have the exit interview with the franchise. And here's what he said, Nico. I think the things that he said along the way about how he feels here, how he feels appreciated, how he feels accepted and allowed to be himself, those are the things that he said kind of consistently. That's what gives me the optimism that he wants to be here. Rob, Kyrie is eligible for a five-year $272 million deal with the Mavericks or a four-year $202 million deal. Um, That's why he left Brooklyn. You and I both agree. He probably understands it now. Big mistake. You had a great team there. You had a real chance to win a championship. Made the all-star team, was yep. playing great. He could have just played it out, Chris, and he would have gotten rewarded. Absolutely. At home, right? That's one reason he went to Brooklyn, because he wanted to be in New Jersey where he grew up. Family's there. And you didn't stay. You demanded the trade because they wouldn't promise you or give you the max. And now you have no idea what Dallas is going to do. Rob, what would you do if you were the Mavericks with Kyrie? It's a tough spot because... If you weren't committed to him, Chris, and I mean committed that more than you were just renting him to have a championship run this year, you you know, you gave up a lot for him, so you have to make up your mind. And when you make a move like that, deep down you got to ask yourself, he's never going to be happy there unless he gets the the, the big deal, Chris. That, 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 there, that's definitely am I right or wrong? You got to think about. Nah, that, you got to think he's about He's not that. going to be happy if you come up with the deal that the Nets offered him. That's not a fully maxed contract. And if you're not willing to do that, you made a big mistake trading for Kyrie Irving. You made a big mistake. Because he's not going to be there, and you gave up a ton for him. Well, you're right. That's something to consider. That, I mean, look, it's a business. It's a job. Rob, it happens all the time, right? You negotiate deals. um, You you argue. Things are said. People aren't happy with the ultimate deal. But you know what? You show up for work, right? And you do your best. But there is something to be said about a guy being happy, right? Feeling appreciated. But I'm going to be honest, Rob. I, I I understand that, and that's real. There is no way I would give Kyrie a, a, a long-term max deal. No way. I, I, I would, I'm not mad at you for saying that. I, I totally get it. Everybody knows he's a tremendous player. That's not the issue. It's once you give him the contract, Chris, can you count on it? And I don't think anybody knows honestly. Because once he has that fully guaranteed deal in his hand, now uh, this can come up. Now that can come up. Now there's an issue. Now I mean, I mean, it's a scary proposition. Because here's what no, I agree with you. Yeah. You're totally right. You if you remember, Chris. Boogie Cousins was on the doorstep of a two hundred and six million dollar. Yep, fully max the second deal. max deal. Am I right? What did yep. they do? They traded them. Yep. They were like, we can't. Uh, we we. Can't what's going on now? Now, yep. what happens when we give them two oh six? What? No, you're right, I, I, Rob. I. We, I mean, and you got a track record, Boston, Brooklyn, and beyond that. Kyrie is phenomenal. But he didn't help us win. In fact, we went the other way. We we went south. And he played great. Can he play any better? 
What in the world was going on? I mean, Rob, I get it. They, they let's not make let's not act like Dorian Finney Smith was uh, Dennis Rodman in his prime on the That's defensive end. That's what I was going to say. That you was the name I was going to pull out. Dennis Rodman too. <laughs> All right, I thought about Pippen or, you know, whoever no, you want to say. Dennis Rodman I mean, is the right guy that, that, because he was a defensive stalwart. Yeah. I mean, Dorian Finney-Smith is a nice 3 and D guy and could defend. But, come on. He wasn't all that. And the team went south. They went 7-25. and 25. They were 5-11 and 11 with Luke and Kyrie on the, on the floor. Rob, that's the worst record Worst per- winning percentage of two All Stars on the same team, like who made it that year, same year All Stars, since the merger, nineteen seventy six. <laughs> Think about that. So I got a track record on and off the court. I'm sorry, this, this is my offer, and I'm and I'm not just, you know, I, I'm gonna respect Kyrie. I'm gonna sit down and talk with him about why. And all that. But I'm going to be like, one year, max, one year, whatever that is, 40 million or whatever. And the second year, max, with it as a team option. That's it. And, you know, it's hard to tell somebody, look, with your resume, with your track record, whatever, all I have to say is, Kyrie, we went from 4th to 11th. We, I, I got to be honest, we're we not sure this is going to work, but we love your talent. You're a fantastic player. You're phenomenal. We think we can be great, but we, we haven't seen enough. We just haven't. What we saw was bad. Now, we're willing to give you and our team the benefit of the doubt. Right, because he plays that that well. Right, right. Right, that we will be better, but there's we cannot lock up this team for the next four years. So that's our offer. Two years, uh, one year with a team option for the second year. Now, here's the thing, Rob. Where's Kyrie going? I mean, there's Uh, only one NBA. Detroit, Orlando. Thank you. I'm just giving you all the bad the teams, teams that got with money. Mo- the teams with money, Houston, San Antonio, Detroit, you mentioned, Orlando, Utah, Oklahoma City. Now, not only is Kyrie not likely to want to play for any of those teams, Indiana, although he probably would go there for the money. He, he would go. You know what? Right. I was just saying, like, at some point, Chris, because between, between what happened at the, with Brooklyn – and oh, he Nike, would go for the money. He lost yeah. money. He lost Absolutely. a lot of money in the last two years. Honestly, Rob, if I was in his position, I'd probably go for the money too. But here's the thing. Why would any of those teams want Kyrie? And it has nothing to do with the things I said, you know, the, the track record, the resume, the issues off the court. Charlotte, I got LaMelo Ball. I don't need him and Kyrie. Orlando, I'm young and developing. Kyrie doesn't fit our timetable. That's... That's Dame in Portland all over again. I, I'm young. Indiana, I got Tyrese Halliburton, who was an all-star guard. Uh, Detroit, Rob, K. Cunningham. The, the rookie was good from Purdue. And hopefully, they're hoping they get Big Vic Wimbayama. Oklahoma City, I got Shea Gilgis Alexander and Josh Giddy. My backcourt is nice. Utah, that's just not the fit for Kyrie <laughs> in many ways. San Antonio, right. I mean, how many times you gonna take? How many times you gonna walk down the the uh, the River Rock, Chris, right. down near the Alamo? Right. I mean, uh, I just in Houston, over. Rob. Houston's young. We talked about it. Don't make sense to sign Harden. Why would it make sense to sign Kyrie? So, I it's not only that Kyrie may not want to play in those bad situations, but those teams aren't likely to be interested in Kyrie. And the Lakers, Rob. The Lakers have all, it's been reported, they're not interested. We'll see how their playoff run goes. That might change things. But they would face the prospect, Rob, of give up all the depth that you acquired over the All-Star break at the trade deadline for Kyrie. And then basically you got Kyrie, AD, and LeBron. 
which is great. That's a heck of a trio. But that's it. It's going to be minimum salary dudes around him. Is that enough? And so I just, Kyrie doesn't have much leverage, Rob. He don't have much leverage. So what 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 leverage? No, there is no leverage. And that's why, Chris, could it be could one of these bad teams just decide we need a star? We'll just do you know what I mean? Like it, it could. And then Kyrie. You know would the team just, I think that would be would be Washington. Washington. They do stuff like this, you know. Just just random, mediocre, random stuff that's gonna keep them being fair to Midland. You know? <laughs> I mean, that's what they, they do. Bradley Bills saying he might not, you know, be happy there losing or being average. How's he not happy Maybe that they, deal? Does he realize right. what deal he has on it, the table, Chris? It's him and Dame. It's, you signed the money. You knew the team was bad. You took the loot. Don't don't right. bellyache. You took the loot. Don't pollute. Very nice. So, <laughs> so I don't know. Look, Miami, if I'm the Heat, do you think, it, Rob, I mean, Heat culture is strong. Strong. And they, they have LeBron bristling down there. I mean, that culture is, they don't play. You think, I don't know if Kyrie, because Kyrie don't buckle. Kyrie stands up for I don't see that working. I don't know if he would conform. Yeah, I don't, I don't, see, I don't see that working. I don't. Because if Pat Riley says something or whatever situation, it's about Pat Riley as long as he's still there, Chris. Yep. And I know he's long in his tooth. He ain't the same guy he was when he was with the Knicks coaching back 20 some odd years ago. You know what I mean? He's a but he's he been there since the Louisiana grudges. purchase. That there you go. Very <laughs> nice. But it was an escrow. <laughs> All right, let's throw you it out. You couldn't help guys. yourself, could you? You couldn't. <laughs> All right, so give me it. What what deal would you offer Kyrie if you're the Mavericks? Uh a two year deal. The team well, option for the second, or you you giving him you guarantee I'll, him I'll give him two I'll years. give him two years, and I'll give okay. him top money for two years. But that's it. Show me, I'm giving you two years. I'm not disrespecting you by giving you a one year, Chris. Here's I two years, and and you could get the other two or, and four more after that. If we oh, do right, something. here's the risk though. We get, right? This is why I got to stay with one. Okay, because if it doesn't go well with Luca. You could lose Luca. Now wait a minute. When is Luca's up? Does he have one? Well, Luca's got like three years left. Nah, so I'm good. Yeah, with he got two. a while. But I'm just saying, Luca could ask for a trade, or if he's that disgruntled, you know, he could be like, "Look, I'm getting out of here when I get a chance." You know, it just, I, I, I and there's no evidence that he and Luca. I think they get along fine. I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying if the team's not winning, then Luca could be like, or if Kyrie starts taking sabbaticals and all that during the season, 